أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله نعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهد الله فهو مضل الله وما يضل فلا هادي له الحمد لله السلام عليكم ومير جان الحمد لله it's good to to have the opportunity to share some of these thoughts and these videos with people and interact with people from all over the world through this amazing website and I want to give uh, thanks to uh, YouTube and um, I guess my response today is uh, and the issue that I'm dealing with is um, through the video is the Bible corrupted by uh, Jay Smith and Jay is um, I guess from England and he is quoting um, making justification for his claims uh, from the Quran and then he goes on to tell us about uh, manuscripts in the Bible and that there's no such thing, no book or no, no one can have the claim that the Bible cannot. <coughs> so, inshallah by the will of God, I will uh, <coughs> just discuss about that a bit and I, I pulled out his video so I can exactly quote so you don't think that I'm uh, making up anything. So we'll start uh, with uh, some of this. So I'll probably try to make this video in about two or three series inshallah. So let's start here with the first uh, claim that he makes. One of the questions that's always coming up, in fact, it's a question we're going to have to deal with right at the very beginning. Because right, where, to there. on the 7th century? So he's so talking was about this book, Quran Bible was Bible after the Bible the and the claim that the Bible is corrupt. Do you have any questions? That is the case. Go back to your own book. Go back go to your book, he says. So he looks at the Quran. Go back to these references. And I'm going to give you them in numbers. Surah 10, Ayah 94. That means book 10. 1094. Remember that. Surah 21. Ayah 7. 21 Ayah 7. Both those 1094 and Surah Ayah, I'm sorry, Surah 21 7. They both say, if you have any question, go to the people of the book. Go to the people of this book. Surah 29 is even better. Surah 29, Ayah 46 says, 29 or 46. Do not argue with the Christian. You're not to argue with me. I use that one all the time at Speaker's Corner. It's great. You're not to argue with me. Why? Because we have been given the Taurat in the Injil. That means the Torah of Moses in the Injil. That means the, the Gospel of Jesus as a sign for you. Surah 4, Ayah 136, that's even better. Surah 4, Ayah 136, says, and I'll quote it, O ye Muslims, go to that which has been given to you from before you, those scriptures that have become before you, that's this book here, the Bible. they are signs for you. And then Surah 5, Ayah 46 and 47, then also Ayah 68, says to me, O ye Christians, go back to that which God has given you, that's this book here, or they are signs for you. So I've just given you five references. So 1094, so 217, so 2946, so 4136, 546, 47, and verse 68, telling you Muslims to come back to this book. Now why in the world would your Allah tell you Allah. in this book, in your, Quran, in your Quran, to go to a corrupted scripture? To go to something that has been changed, that has been all right, so very fair. I'm a fair man, and uh, very fair questions, Jay, and uh, very uh, good, I guess. Uh, so let's examine this. Um, I have about five minutes for this video, but I'm going to try to fit in, inshallah, my will go. <coughs> okay, <coughs> not going to take in the same, uh, but uh, let's see here. All right, so Surah 21. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Twenty-one. Ayah seven. We have always commissioned men as messengers and sent revelations to them even before your time. Should you not know this fact, ask the people of the scriptures. We do not fashion their physics so as to enable them to live without food, nor did they live forever. Okay, so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is talking about uh, him commissioning men and revelations before your time. Okay, so you should ask the people if you don't believe that, you know, this was sent before you. So, yes, we believe as Muslims that revelations were sent before time. Um, we do believe that there was messages that came before time. I, can't, I guess, Jay, you don't read the Quran properly. You have to, don't take things out of context. You're actually taking a lot of these uh, verses out of context. Please read the next verse. Read the few words after it. Read the few verses after It's very clear what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about in this verse, okay? 20, uh, Ayah 21, verse 7, okay? So there's no such claim as you're making that uh, go ask them or okay, check this out. Let's look at the uh, the other one. All right. <clears throat> so now we're looking at uh, Ayah I mean, Surah 10, 
Verse 94. All right. <clears throat> so let's read verse 93 first. So we gave the Israelites really nice residence and granting them with good provisions. Yes, they began disputing after the knowledge had already come to them. So they were disputing after they got the revelations, right? That's the claim, okay? <clears throat> On the day of judgment, your Lord will surely dispense his decision regarding everything they quarreled about. So they were indifference, okay? So should you be in doubt about the revelation sent by us, ask those before who you who are used to recite the divine book, okay, the book. Indeed, the absolute truth from your Lord who has come to you, okay, is talking to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Do not hesitate or entrain doubts. And do not be among, be among those who refuse the, and to heed the signs of Allah, else you'll be the loser. Okay, so where does it tell you to go and ask them or to, to be a reference to uh, in the book or anything? And, hold on, even if you claim that, okay, Jay, uh, my, my friend, even if you do claim that, okay, I'll explain to you at the end once I, uh, once I uh, go through all of them, okay. Verse 29, I mean, Surah 29, verse 46. I love Surah Al Kabut. Alhamdulillah, verse, uh, Surah 29. Verse 46 says, <coughs> uh, Let's go to verse 45. Recite the book revealed to you and establish Salah. Indeed, the Salah keeps one away from vile deeds and prohibited acts. The remembrance of Allah is greater still. Allah knows what you do. If you argue with people of the scriptures, do it in the best of ways or an amicable manner. Okay, in a good way. So what kept you, Jay, from reading the next words in the in the in the in that verse? Why couldn't you move a bit to the right and read the next few verse and continue the verse? But do not argue with those of them who are unjust and unfair, okay? So don't argue with those who are unjust and unfair. Okay, say say to them, We believe in that which is sent to us and that which was sent to you, okay? So we do. As a Muslim, yes, we believe that the Bible, the Gospel, the Injil of Jesus, not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the one that Jesus spoke, okay, that was sent uh, to the people of the Scriptures, to Jews and Christians, uh, to, of course, to Jews the Torah. So we do believe, okay, and it says, uh, our God and your God is only one, okay, Islam says only one, okay, you'll be like, oh, but we have, uh, you know, Trinity, but it's still one, and it's, uh, we can talk about that, and to Him we submit. Okay, so this is what Islam is calling. And um, so where, why could you not, uh, my question is, why could you not uh, move to the right a bit and read the next few ver uh, parts of the verse? Why did you decide to stop there? Uh, what are you trying to, you know, I'm, I'm just honestly very curious to understand what you're trying to uh, to prove or why aren't you not being fair and giving everything. And this is to my, uh, to you know, because there's a lot of misquotations going around in the Bible or in the Quran when people try to, you know, let's dialogue properly, let's let's bring everything fairly on the table. You know, and I ask my Muslim brothers to don't misquote the, the, the Bible, you don't need to do that. And I'll follow up in my next video.